G'day and welcome to the Google Workspace updates. Now this month we're going to be looking at two main things and I want to dive into them and show you how you can use them in your workspace. Now the first one is looking at Sheets, looking at one of the updates in Sheets which will make some of the functionality there even better. And then also I want to jump into some things in Gemini which you can do right now. So let's jump into Sheets and see how we go. Right, so here we are inside our spreadsheet. Now I've got some data here already and I want to actually convert this to a table. Now a table gives us certain powers like a named range but on steroids. So let me show you what we can do inside this space. So I've got my data and I'm going to come and format my data as a table. I'm going to convert that to a table and you'll notice that it's actually given me a name of this table. Now this can be referred to anywhere inside this spreadsheet but I'm going to rename it by just double clicking on it and typing in bakeries because that makes a bit more sense to me. Now it knows that this bakeries refers to this entire range of data inside this table but every single column is kind of like it's a unique identity. Now you'll notice that inside here already I've got a little dollar symbol next to the annual income because this is money and the sheet has worked out that it should be actually in monetary format. So if we come and hit the downward arrow over here, we can actually edit the column type and we've got all these ones we can do as we can with any sort of um, number. We've also got date values we can pop in there as well and a whole lot of other bits and pieces. But it's actually picked up the right things for me, which is terrific. The other things I can do by column is I can just click over here. Let me just drop my little drop down arrow again. I can sort this column. I can also filter this column and also can group by this column as well, which is very handy. But I want to do some calculations. So let's come across to the right hand side here. And I'm just going to work out, say, the sum of the annual income. Now, if I did that normally, what I'd have to do is work out the range of the data and do sum of, say, B2, or in this case, E2 through to E37, and it would add it up for me. And that can be quite problematic because you've got to keep on searching for the range of your data, especially if you've got a very big data set in front of you. But let's have a look at how we can use the table function to do that. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go equal sum. I'm going to go like this and I want to find the sum of the annual income. So I'm just going to start typing in annual income. And notice what it picks up for me is two words that mention the annual income. I've got the annual income and the annual expenses. So I want to grab this one in here and it's grabbed the table range for me already. And I'm just going to go this one here, please. And it's going to drop it in there, put a bracket around the outside, and it's got it for me as well. So it's automatically grabbed that for me as well, which is lovely. Now that means I can refer to this formula any sheet inside my spreadsheet. So if I come to here and add a new sheet and say make out I want to work out the average, I'm going to go equals average. And instead of I can't remember what it's called, so I'm just going to type in the word bakery. And notice that it brings up all the information for me. So I want to work out the average of the annual, I don't know, it's got the annual income here. It's going to pop it in there for me and it will drop it around like that. So automatically I can pull up any figure, any calculation from any column inside my spreadsheet by just referring to it like I would normally do in a named range. But let me show you one more thing which is pretty cool in this space. So I'm going to come back to here come back to this column in here. Now sometimes we need to do, I don't know, a whole lot of calculations in a spreadsheet. And we often do a formula that we need to work out and make sure it works and then we copy it down and sometimes we get caught with relative and absolute referencing. But we're using a table that's automatically covered for us when it does any calculations. So let's pretend that we want to work out the profit. Okay, and that's going to be our annual income, take away our expenses. So let's do that using the formulas inside the table. So I'm going to come in here and go equals. And I'm just going to go bakeries because I can't remember what they're called. Oh, there we go. Bakeries. Let's go my annual income. And then I'm going to go take. And I'm going to go out to get bakeries because I can't remember what they're called. Ah, my annual expenses. There we go. And that will tell me that one there. If I just go return, it does it for me. And then it says, oh, do you want to fill down? Oh, yes, please. All done. And I'm just going to come in here, rename this profit. Oh, it could also be a loss, couldn't it? And now we've got our profit and loss sitting inside this space really nicely. Now let's have a look at what it's doing with the formulas. If I click on here, you'll notice that I've got the annual income take away the expenses. If I click on the next one, it's also got the same formula as we go down. So this is taking into account the relative referencing that we need 
and I don't have to change the formula for it. So these calculations can be done anywhere inside the spreadsheet because it just gets that information back from my bakery's table. Super good, super cool, and there's lots of functionality about to come that's gonna make these even more powerful inside our spreadsheets. Okay, let's have a look at some of the things that are sitting inside Gemini now that are even more functional. And Gemini is updating all the time, which is really exciting. There is better integration now between Gemini and all your applications. So let's go to chat with Gemini or gemini.google.com and play in this space for just a little bit. This is where you can have a conversation with Gemini based on the data that you provide for it. So I'm gonna come and grab an image. I'm gonna upload an image. So let me show you how to do that. And then we're gonna show you what can happen when you've actually got an image inside Gemini. So I'm gonna come down to here, go to plus, and I'm gonna upload an image. And oh, I have one here ready to go. Let me click on this one here. And it's gonna pop it into here. I'm gonna say, what is in It just asks what's in the image, and it's going to look through that image. This is a picture of my bookshelf that's sitting behind me, and it's going to come up with what's there. And it's grabbed these doc book books for us and actually put it, popping it inside Gemini to make us see what's there, which is wonderful. So you can now see I've got a whole lot of books here ready to roll as well. Now I might say, um, I don't know, what is Fierce Conversations about? And this will then come to that and actually give me a bit of a breakdown about those fierce conversations for me, which is wonderful. Now that is all coming from an image that I took just with my phone, which is absolutely amazing. Now you might be thinking, what's the use of that? Well, if you've got some information that you want to just take a photo of, it can then pull apart information out of that image. So even handwriting, it will convert handwriting to text and you can ask it what you need to do based on a list of things that you've written down. But I kind of think of it beyond that space. So if you are sight impaired and you've got um, to be able to see what's in your room or work out where something is, you can take that photo and it'll be able to tell you where stuff is. But even better than that, let's pretend that you're going away somewhere and you're in a foreign country and there's a recipe or there's a menu that you're sitting inside a restaurant for and you know you have a nut allergy or something like that, you can take a photo of the menu, then load it into Gemini get it to tell you what you might be allergic to, and then you don't have to order those things. So it's amazing what you can do in that space. Okay, so let's have a look at the next thing we can do inside gemini.google.com. And it's building out gems. Now I know I've talked about gems before, but I wanna show you how, how this now integrates really seamlessly with your other Google applications. So let's have a look at where the gems are and how we can actually craft them to help us out. So a gem is like a persona that you write or a personalized chatbot inside the Gemini space. Now I've got a manager one that I've built out. If I come to the three dots over here, I can edit it so I can show you how it actually runs. So inside here, I've actually outlined the purpose and the goals. I've got how I want the email response to be, how I want to create documents, and how I want to generally communicate, and the tone that I want to have whenever I'm doing something. Now you'll also see inside here that it's actually referencing my Google Drive, all my docs, my drive, and my Gmail. So it's actually grabbing things that I need from that space. So let's see how it works with a really quick example of um, responding to an email. So I'm just gonna come down, open up my manager, Jim, and I'm gonna come into here and say, what emails have I got about office furniture? Now, when I do this, it, you'll see that it brings up this logo that then goes and has a look at my mail and goes through there to find out what is there that actually addresses the question I've asked. And here we've got, we've got some stuff about um, urgent need for office equipment with some safety stuff and some other things about office equipment as well. So I'm gonna ask the gem to respond on my behalf. So I'm gonna say draft a response for the first email. Now that's gonna look at that first email. It will then respond to it in the tone and the structure of that persona that I've built by building out that gem. Now, I can now go and tweak this and actually pop it into the email as well. So from down the bottom here, I can manage this as well. I can come down to here, export it into docs, or draft it straight into my Gmail. So you can see that I can really quickly do things in this space. So I find that this is gonna make sure that my responses are good, my creation of my content is gonna be consistent because it's using these personas or these gems to be able to give me a consistent outcome. It's a really good way of working. Now I wanna show you one other thing that's just kind of, kind of slipped in quietly inside Gemini, inside the other Google Workspace applications. 
Okay, let's see how Gemini is now being integrated across the other Google Workspace applications. So I'm sitting here inside Docs, and let's have a look at how we can utilize this because it's enabling us to grab information from anywhere to help us build out a document. So I can come to the Tools tab and open up Gemini from here. Or I can also open up from the right-hand side over here. And I'm gonna ask it to look at my emails and look at my drive to find information about the Winter Bake. Um, product launch. I want to find out any budget information. Now this will now look across those spaces for me. So if you think about this, this is giving some information or getting information for me from the content I already have and drawing up a really quick analysis for it and bringing it into my space so I can add it to my docs. So it means that analyzing documents, analyzing big reports, we can do really quickly inside Gemini sitting next to our Google Docs and then we can incorporate that easily into our workflow. So let's have a look at what we've got. We've got the prices in here, and I can also come and say what are the, I can actually now start ask questions about the information that's found for me. So this information is coming from some emails. Let's have a look down here. It's coming from a whole lot of emails, and it's also coming from a whole lot of documents as well. So you can see that the hallucinations on these are gonna be really low because of the fact it's grabbing information from my documents. But let's just say, let's find out what the total budget is. And it's going to use my documents to actually come up with that answer, which then I can pop into my document. So it means that for us, that document creation and getting information that we often have in several different places is going to be so much quicker and easier to do. So imagine the productivity of this um, really, really well. So I like this. I'm going to say that's fantastic. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to pop it across here into my document really easily like that. And now I've got that looking. Now that's probably not much information. So I'm going to come and copy this one up here and pop that into here as well. And now I've got all the information that I need in this space, so let me come and pop it in there. And I've got the ability to be able to pop into here a whole lot of things that I could use. Now I can then jump into my Google Slides and create a slide deck from this as well. So that integration is so good inside Google Workspace utilizing Gemini. Now just keep your eye open for some new things coming and we'll look at them next month.